Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. I am back in London. I came back from Mexico a couple of days ago and I have recouped, <laughs> had a few days with my family and now I'm back in London. I am staying at the Royal Lancaster Park Suite. I'm gonna give you a room tour right now. This view, this hotel has to be my favorite in London. This looks out onto Kensington Park and the views just go for miles. As you can see, it's like so panoramic. You can see Wembley over here. What else can we see? That's the Royal Albert Hall. Gosh, you can see everything. And then on this side, let me show you. I've got a bottle of champagne to pop tonight. That's gonna be a fun night in. <laughs> and then this is the bathroom of dreams. Like, look at this. I would love to have a house with a bathroom like this, with a view of the, oh, just everything about this place is absolutely gorgeous. And then I've got wardrobes along here. This is me, I'm looking very sweaty. Then we've got wardrobes along here. And then this is the bedroom. So you've got three rooms and a hotel room, that's crazy. But this is the beautiful bed, hi me. Um, and yeah, waking up to sunrise here is so, so amazing. And sunset, so cannot wait to enjoy this suite tonight. So it's the Royal Lancaster, I'll leave it linked down below. But if you're wanting an amazing stay in London, the park suite is the one. It is beautiful here, honestly. If you have a special occasion in London, this is the, the look at this view that is the view from the bathroom so i've just got a few things that i need to do in london and um yeah before we, i'm actually going to cheltenham races with holland cooper which i'm very excited about and i have another thing in london before i head to paris so i've got a few jobs in london before i head there but i found the most perfect apartment yesterday and i'm fingers crossed that like it's all legit and it all looks good but it's beautiful. It's got parquet floors, the fireplace, the French fireplace, the French windows. It's right like by the center. Like it just is hopefully going to be amazing. So yeah, this is today. I have this like caramelin blazer on. It's got this gorgeous collar. I just thought that it's got like slit details around the sleeves. Um, I would probably wear like either a bra or like a white top underneath it. But you know, I'm just in the flat by my, in the suite by myself. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd say hi and show you around the suite and show you a bit about what I'm up to this week in London. So you can probably see the blazer a little bit better here. Um, I just I thought it was a great one. I love a, love, love a sequin, <laughs> don't I? But also, I've come, this might sound, you might be wondering why I've got loads of flowers in me. How beautiful are these flowers? I've got these ones. Definitely need to top one under here. <gasps> How fabulous, and my favorite hydrangeas are my favorite flower. So if you guys are new here, you may not know this, but last year I have um, designed my own collection with Flowered. It's a delivery service. Um, it's from the Middle East. It, it started in the Middle East, but it's branched out in a number of places, one being London, and I am like an ambassador for London. I designed my own collection with them for spring, summer. Last year I brought a winter collection out in like November, and um, yeah, I just, the flowers are gorgeous and out of, I'm probably biased, <laughs> but you can judge for yourself. The flowers come so much more beautiful than any delivery service that I've received flowers from. And um, I'm going to, this is not an ad, but I'll put hashtag ad somewhere. Anyway, I just, if you guys need flowers, they do a same day delivery, next day delivery. You can pick your time slots. If you've forgotten someone's birthday or something for you men out there. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good one. They have started delivering to the rest of the UK. Not all the flowers are available for the whole of the UK, but some are. Um, so definitely check them out next time you're wanting flowers, even just for yourself. I'm a sucker for flowers for myself. I love them. I have just popped open the champagne. They kindly left a bucket of champagne, well, champagne with, no, bucket with champagne in for me. And I tried to convince Abby to come and join me. I was like, come 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 but she's busy so i'm currently i couldn't take it home because I, my, there's no more room in my suitcase my mother's gonna be fuming um so i'm just sat here drinking champagne on my own in the dressing gown very, very, gonna put a movie on i'm gonna order room service i feel very zen very zen gonna run a bubble bath it's so blissful so blissful i have migrated to the bedroom really loving the pan am 
this is the situation I'm just about to put a movie on. I am champagne in bed watching a movie with panoramic views of London. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I just need a man next to me. <laughs> be good. Um, TBC. <laughs> but yeah, what movie should I put on? I was watching that Anna, Anna Delvey, reinventing Anna. I got a bit bored of it. I don't know whether to finish it or not. Um, yeah, I need a new good series. I might I really enjoy a Viking. <laughs> got a real thing for a Viking. So I might put the new Viking Netflix on. Or do watch the new Peaky Blinders. Blinders. I do enjoy Peaky Blinders. But I always hate going back to a Netflix. Like, I hate going back to a series once there's been a big gap. I'm, I'm such a series binge watcher. But yeah, I'm going to get an early night because I'm going to be up at the crack. I think I'm going to set my alarm for six. Got a busy day of shooting tomorrow. So busy. Good morning, guys. I had the best night's sleep. The best night's sleep. It was so good. Let me show you the bedroom. Like, waking up and watching sunrise this morning was so good. So, I'm just about to put my makeup on. It's actually super early. I got up super early to shoot. Got a little situation going on with these today. So I actually have an epic shoot day today. I'm shooting all morning and shooting all afternoon. And then I'm going home this evening. So we've got a long ass day. So I'm gonna have to put some epic makeup on to last me through the day. But I just thought I'd show you the before. And then I'll talk you through some of the products that I have on the face afterwards because we're about to transform this. <laughs> I look so tired. And also, my skin is so red and blocked too from the sun. Guys, I wore Factor 50 religiously on that holiday, and I still look like a typical Brit abroad. <laughs> it was so tragic. It was so tragic. My ass is still really suffering. I still have epic red marks on it. Like, the burnage is just not going away. I'm going to show you these flowers just while I'm shooting them, because they are so beautiful. Look at this okay. So guys, I actually wanted to share with you a handbag today. I know lots of you guys always DM me about my handbag. So kind of wanted to incorporate this into my YouTube channel so you know the exact bag that I have, how I style it. The information will be in the description box. Um, it's Georgia. Hang on. Um, so I don't want it to be braggy at all in the slightest. I want it to be more of a, like an informative thing for you guys. Just because I know when you're purchasing a bag yourself, you really want to see it like on a video see how it's styled and um, the measurements of the exact bag that I got because it's always so I find it really hard to gauge the size of handbags and stuff online so this video is for you guys and I hope you enjoy it and I'm going to show you the new Givenchy bag that I have um Givenchy for me is a brand that I've always absolutely loved when I first was a blogger they were the first designer brand they took me out for dinner when I was like one year two years into this career and um, the flagship store a manager took me out for dinner and it was like the biggest thing ever so I've felt such a like that anyway this is really, really me rambling on but like good things about Givenchy all the, like I just loved them for that reason they like believed in me from the start um so that aside, the reasons I love Givenchy aside from that is they do really like sexy tailoring with an edge. I love designer brands that have like a little bit of an edge, like a sexy edge to them. YSL, Prada, Givenchy, all that kind of vibe. So this handbag is like a really edgy take on like a shoulder bag. So whether that's whether you want it for like an evening out or more of like a, like a smaller bag for daytime. I thought it was really edgy. So this is the bag. It's called Givenchy Small Cutout Bag. <laughs> they do come in different sizes. It hasn't got a fancy name, I don't think. But this is really cool. Like it's like a bicycle change or chain almost, but it has the Givenchy logo in there, has the Givenchy clasp here, and then if I open it, this is the inside. I have tissue in there at the moment, but it is just literally a pouch bag, and I I kind of I really enjoy this. Um I thought this was a really nice touch to it, like the dangly bit. <laughs> it comes quite thin, so I am not sure what you can fit in there, like a phone, a hand, like a camera. It's like bare minimum. You can't carry the kitchen sink. You guys know I like to carry the kitchen sink in my handbag. So this, I was really missing small handbags from my collection. I really need to work on that. <laughs> Just have so much stuff to carry with me all the time. So I'm gonna show you how I style this a few different ways in this video. So I will cut to that now. So in the description 
description box below I will leave all the details to this exact bag so you'll know exactly which one it was because I always get so many DMs like what size is it blah, blah. I will leave it linked in the description box below for you guys and yeah I hope this was super helpful show you how I'd style it and um, yeah let me know if you want me to do more of these videos I'm actually about to leave the Royal Lancaster now I'm so sad this is beautiful I could live here easily live here <laughs> so i just wanted to update you guys i am back at my family house i live in the world if anyone knows what that is <laughs> it is across the water from liverpool if you have been here for a while you will recognize this room <laughs> this is where i did a lot of my videos um backstory for those of you that are new i started my channel maybe when i was 28 or 27 I had the worst job ever I just hated it I just thought it was existing to go to work and hated the job I'd wake up go to this this job come home go to sleep and it was like I don't know it was just like Groundhog Day over and over again I hated it so much and I just dreamed of like a life where I would be my own boss and like could, could do whatever I wanted and it is crazy to look back now and be here and see like the difference. Like I used to come home from work and literally turn on my computer and work till about 1 a.m. in the morning every single day, all weekends. Like the amount of effort that like I put in to be able to do this job, it was literally like, so, I didn't I didn't sleep basically. Um, but yeah, this is where I started it all. And like when I had that job, I left and I was like, I'm going to leave or I can work from home. Luckily, they let me work from home. And the moment I clocked off at five, I started editing videos. I started filming and like I lived at my mum and dad's house at 28 years old. I took a step back. I moved to London when I was 21 and then I moved. I just I hit a brick wall. I hated my life. I hated my job. I hated my boyfriend. Like I was just in such a rut that I moved back home. I hated my boyfriend, that's a bit of a... Uh, my job didn't pay very good at all and literally my whole wage just covered my rent in London, which was extortionate. And like, I was just like, do you know what? I want to go home and figure it out. And I was lucky enough my parents let me come back at 28 and I spent two years working my ass off. I have never worked so hard. Do you know what? I missed that drive. Like, I had such, like, drive in me to get out that life of like just working to exist i just wanted to be my own boss and i w literally worked from the moment i clocked off from my nine to five to like 1 a.m 2 a.m i filmed i edited taught myself how to edit videos and film them and photography and i just was like so aggressive in like getting here that it was i took only a short i think it took me like six months to a year to go full time like i worked so hard so quick and i always remember like every time i come home it's like where i get to the next level i came up with a quote during this time that i love like you never like sometimes you have to take a step back to move forwards like stepping back and moving home and with my family like it wasn't what i had planned to do when i was 28 but boy did that project me forwards and yeah, I'm back here, but only for a little while. I am actually um, at home, I got home and everyone caught COVID. COVID, COVID, I really don't know what to call it anymore. Um, I've always called it COVID. I've always called it COVID and everyone else calls it COVID. I'm gonna stick with COVID, it's what I know. Um, what do you call it? Am I saying it wrong? People keep correcting me, but I'm like, I'm sure it's called COVID. Um, but yeah, I'm back here. My mum's got COVID, my dad's got COVID and weirdly, so, Obviously, if you guys don't know, I caught COVID. I've had COVID twice. I caught it in March 2020. I caught it, I'm guessing, Omicron at Christmas. Um, stayed on my own at Christmas. It was like the worst Christmas ever. But yeah, obviously I'm in a house full of COVID. So I was really interested to see what was happening. So I had, I did a COVID test for like, for two or three days. I had a really faint line and then it just disappeared. And now it's clear again. So I don't have, I've not got ill. So I've just had my booster as well, for those of you that are interested. But I actually don't know whether I keep, keep testing positive. I've always tested positive. I think I've always tested positive for COVID on a lateral flow after like half an hour. There's always a line there. Does this happen to anyone else? Like it's clear at first and it goes to a line after like half an hour. Just, but like forever, that was happening in January after I had COVID. 
yeah, it's just I've never had like a completely clear one. <laughs> Covid is in me, it would explain a lot. Um, but yeah, I seem, I feel fine, but they're, they're in a bit of a bad way, so... <laughs> yeah um so i'm just about to plan my paris trip um yeah so next vlog i should hopefully be going to paris it's very exciting